Vice President. So every day we analyze data from around the world and look at age groups that are impacted, look at and try to get a sense of the, late, the amount of asymptomatic patients. Now remember, all of the groups that are doing screening are screening on symptoms. And so we're trying to figure out based on that information and based on the profile of the epidemic to really understand, is there a whole group under 20 that really doesn't get significant symptoms Yet we don't believe that uniquely people under 20 are naturally protected from the virus. So are they a group that are potentially asymptomatic and spreading the virus? Because My children's school district has just sent message that they have closed all schools in our district until further notice in light of new coronavirus information. They stress that this does not mean anyone has tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. So are they a group that are potentially asymptomatic and spreading the virus? Because, because of that, and because of that unknown, we don't want to say that the risk is low when we don't know how low the, the numbers are for people who are asymptomatic. We have a good sense of the number of people who are having symptoms, and we have a good sense of who is deeply impacted by this. I mean, if you look at all the data coming out of all of the countries that we triangulate on a twice a day basis, people of a certain age are at higher risk for a worse outcome, and that's why we have been so laser focused on that. But the other side of the epidemic is how much transmission. And until you really understand how many people are asymptomatic and asymptomatically passing the virus on, we think it's better for the entire American public to know that the risk of serious illness may be low, but they could be potentially spreading the virus to others. And that's why we're asking every American to take personal responsibility. This is only meant to bring awareness, no fear, much love to you all.